Hello everyone and very very warm welcome to another interesting session from the House of Economics Pedia. Before starting, let me just uh, thank all of you for uh, always supporting and such lovely lovely comments and uh, suggestions that we are getting uh, literally all across the globe. Thank you so much. We are always truly grateful to each and every one of our students anywhere on the planet. Thank you so much once again. All right, so let's begin today's session. And uh, today I am here with a very important, very uh, conceptual part from production function. Now the topic that I am going to discuss is, uh, is a very small part, but this uh, concept you require so that you can move ahead for the rest of the part of production function. So the topic that I am going to discuss today in this uh, session is related to constant elasticity of substitution that means CES production function. Well, now whenever we talk of production functions, there are different types of production function, right? Various kinds of. Now, in uh, CES production function, let me just give you what is the unique feature of this CES production function. First of all, it is more like a general production function, okay? General production function because the, the production function that we are going to discuss, the mathematical form of it, yes, indeed it looks, uh, it might look a little bit complex, but we can actually use this in a more generic way, all right? Now, let me just take up some example, like for example, if we take up Cobb Douglas production function, it's a very renowned production function, right? But the factors of substitution, if we talk about, may not be uh, very easy. It might be unity, it might be infinity, it might be anything, the factor of substitution uh, among the two uh, or more uh, factors of production. However, CES is more of a generic production function, all right? Now, the CES production function, it has been given up by four different uh, economists. To start with, we have Arrow, Chenry, Minhas, and Solo. So these four people actually give rise to this CES production function. Now, this part you might think may not be that much important, but you know, whenever you are going for some competitive exams, or maybe your uh, college exams or university exams, you need to know these things because these are your knowledge, right? So don't underestimate the knowledge. And now let me move on to the mathematical depiction of this CES production function. So Q is the output, right? We have delta, gamma, delta K minus infinity plus 1 minus delta L minus rho 1 by 1 minus rho. This is rho. Let me mark this equation as 1. So now, this is output, right? We all know. Let me just give you a notation for all these uh, parameters in the production function. So we have three parameters. We have gamma, we have delta, and we have rho. So gamma, right? It represents what? It represents the efficiency parameter. All right? Efficiency of the production function. Now, I would like you to give it a try. What are delta and what is rho? Pause the video, give it a try and then play it again and check whether you are correct or not. This is just a, a you know, a trick to revise yourself. All right, so delta represents distribution parameter and rho, this represents substitution parameter. Now, I hope you have known what are the things that you need to go through once again and kudos to you all who have done it and made the guesses right. Okay, 
So now these are about the parameters. Now let me just walk you through some of the concepts that how uh, efficiency parameter is going to affect the production function. So efficiency of any uh, production function, the causes of efficiency increment. Now let me just tell you like this. If there is a change in efficiency parameter, there will be a change in the production function. Okay? So they are related. Of course they are related. And they are positively related, right? Okay. Now, what are the causes for which the efficiency parameter might change? It may be technological change or it may be change at the organization level. So if that changes, gamma changes, and hence the production function changes okay next coming to the distribution parameter will suggest it gives an idea about the relative importance relative importance it means k with respect to l and l with respect to k okay the relative importance of the factors of production in any production function and for now in this case, we are discussing what? CES production function. That means constant elasticity production function. So for that purpose, this, this distribution parameter, it gives us the relative importance. For example, how much K is important with respect to L that you can talk with respect to this distribution parameter because the par you can look at the coefficient. Don't just, uh, you know, go through the theories. Understand the underlying concepts. Because that will help you to retain the concepts for long, for lifelong actually. So look at this. This distribution parameter, and I said what? It shows the relative importance. So when the word relative is there, now look at the coefficient. This is delta and this is 1 minus delta. So ultimately K and L that needs to be make up to 1. But what is the share? right in the distribution function so that is getting captured with this the parameter delta okay i hope uh, you have understood if not do comment it in the in the comment section or you can get in contact with us the details are there in the description box okay all right now coming to the substitution parameter now substitution parameter is very very interesting and important especially in the case of ces production function so let me just rub this up and come back. Alright, so we have to discuss the parameter rho. This is known as the substitution parameter, right? So that means what? Substitution between the two factors of production because in this CES production function we have taken up only two production factors of production that is capital and labor, right? Okay, now related to this substitution parameter, a very, very important parameter that comes in to play with, which is known as the elasticity of substitution, right? The sigma. So this is known as the elasticity of substitution. This represents what? The substitution between the two factors of production for this production function, the CES production function. And this elasticity of substitution is represented with the help of substitution parameter. Okay. So that means it gives us, first of all, the uh, rho, it is a substitution parameter and it tells us the substitution possibility of the, between the two factors of production. And elasticity of substitution, it captures the uh, substitution, elasticity of substitution between the factors of production for this CES production function. And this elasticity of substitution is dependent on this substitution parameter. Sigma divided by 1 plus rho. Okay, this is a very, very important relation for CES production function and as well as a, in the um, production function theory okay so now there are three special cases that i'm going to highlight for which this sigma and rho changes okay 
So if sigma is equal, uh, rho is equal to 0, then what is the value of sigma? You can try it out. If sig uh, rho's value is infinity, then what is the value of sigma? And if rho's value is minus 1, then tell me what is the value of sigma. You can again pause the video and give it a shot. Okay, so if it, this is 0, if rho is 0, then sigma takes up the value of 1. Right, once you put it. If rho is equal to infinity, then sigma becomes 0. And if rho is minus 1, then sigma takes up the value of infinity. Right? These are the values. I hope you got it right. Okay. So now, these three are a very, very special case. When sigma takes up these three values, they are a special case for this CES production function. Okay. So, understanding the relation is very important. Rho is the possibility of substitution and sigma is the elasticity of substitution. I hope you understand the difference between the two parameters. And this is how the value keeps changing. Now, let me also walk you through one of the very important characteristics of the CES production function that it is of homogeneous uh, production function of degree 1. Okay. This is constant returns to scale again. So, this CES production function is CRS. That is our characteristic CES production function is CRS, constant returns to scale. Now, I would love to give you one of the tasks. Just give it a try. However, if you find it difficult, you know what to do. Uh, just contact us. The numbers uh, kept showing on the screen. If you get hold of that, very good. If not, the numbers are given in the description box. So, just go ahead and contact us. And you can also share your answer script with us. Let me tell you that. You can also share your answer script, your try, the one that you tried. Uh, you can also share it with us because uh, I'm going to evaluate that. If I find any kind of mistakes or any kind of, you know, area of development, then we will be discussing it through. All right. So the production function, how it looked, it was a function of LMK, right? Because it looked like gamma, delta, K, 1 minus delta L. It was like this. So, to understand and to know what is the returns to scale, we have to increase both L and K with a positive number M. So, just give it a try and see whether you are getting this equal to this or not. Okay, you need to get this result. This result shows that is this CRS constant returns to scale. Alright, so that was it for today's uh, amazing session, a crisp session from the Stock of Economics Pedia. Stay tuned and I am super duper excited because we are soon going to touch our uh, Economics Pedia family to 10,000. That's amazing. Thank you so much once again. However, if you find any difficulty in understanding or if you want your answer scripts to be checked up again, as I mentioned, you can contact us. Thank you so much. Stay tuned to Economicspedia. If you are new to our channel, press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our pages. And also there is a new series that is going on. Uh, we are giving up some of the MCQs. Uh, and those MCQs are quite on a relatively newer side because it gives you an insight of the entire economics. Okay, it covers Indian economy, it covers developmental economics, it covers econometrics and many other parts of economics. So stay tuned to our community tab as well. And I hope to see you, see all of you in our next video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.